hi in this video i want to show you how to actually configure um, a standard password in team viewer or you can as well change your password here you can see we have the default password which mostly sees characters combination of letters and uh, numbers and letters so i want to show you how to actually change this password to like to be four letters or even eight alphabet as well so let's say um, here you can see we have the password. Here's my, my your your ID. So I'm going to go to extras and I go to options. So if I go to options uh, in security, you can see we have the, uh, the uh, we have the option random password for sp spontaneous access, which of course standard that password is set to six characters. So we can make it to actually to be very secure, which is ten character disabled, no random password at all. Or we can decide to go for a standard four character as well. You can see if I change to four, to four, but it's just going to be just numbers only. So I can decide to actually create a new random password. You can see we have our new random password. But I would advise you to actually use the default security. Let's go to security to use a six character or even use a eight. Or you can actually go for very secure ten as well. But if you want to actually connect to your device using to your own device, if you work, um, if for example, you work in a company and you want to be connecting to a remote computer, you can as well set a default password so that you don't need to enter a password all the time you need to connect to Team UR. So I'm going to enter a password here. And I'm also going to enter a password again. And mind you, you will also need to uh, also the Windows logon. I'm going to say allow for administrator only. And I'm going to say OK. And here you can see right now we have a 10 password, which is a very strong password. So I can decide to create a new random password. You can see how strong this password is. So I can actually connect to this device right now without even using this password. So I can use the password I set myself. So let me try to connect to this device using the password I just created myself. So I'm going to actually just copy this um id and go back to this computer here and let me go to team viewer I'm to close this and i'm going to enter my partner id and i'll try to connect here you can see so right now if i don't have the if i have not configured this a password here which i configured in extras options and in security, I've configured a password here, so I'll definitely need to enter this password. So what I need to do right now is to enter the password I just configured there and click log on. You can see that I now have access to that computer. So you can see right now I'm controlling that this computer, you can see the screen has been changed to black. So I'm controlling this other computer right now. So you can see that I've, let me just close this. So that is this, that is the uh, remote computer I'm controlling. And if I go to extras, options, security, and mind you, me controlling this computer with allow for administrator only, I have a full access to this computer. So full access means that if the user who has who is logged on to this computer has a full access admin right, so automatically I have full access to the computer as well. My name is Kelvin Johnson. Please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, share my video as well, and leave a comment, and I will reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Bye.